Hey guys, this is Cam, Oregon Knife Guy. Figured I'd do a little video on my latest Barlow. What we have here is the Baron Son. They're calling it their fourth generation. Got a 1095 carbon steel blade. Got a clip and a pen. Looking over it. I feel the fit and finish is pretty good. Um, I mean, you can barely catch a nail here at the corners where it is the most difficult. This transition coming across here is real smooth. The pins, real nice. The, the shield, which I don't really care for a shield down here in the handle of my Barlow's. I'd rather them stamp the bolster. It's a little bit proud, but all this stuff, I mean, you can't even catch a nail on these. I guess a little bit on that middle one. I don't know if you can hear that. But uh, overall, it's decent. It uh, kind of got some weak back springs. I mean, without me pushing it down, it does not snap down. So I got this, and I don't know a lot about Baron Sun. In fact, I thought this was my very first Baron Sun until I started looking over some of my other Barlows. And what I'm going to bring in here is this is a Remington. It's a 2008 Remington Razor Barlow. And while looking at all these knives together, some things that I noticed, if you put these together, can any of you see the resemblance? The pin blades are almost identical right down to this little rounding of the kick. The long poles seem to be machined. I mean, if not on the same machine it seems like this one's crisper and this might be a wore out tooling kind of the same thing goes on with this long pull up top and what really brings it home for me is that bolster shape if you look I mean they are identical so, you know I don't know exactly what this knife went for new I know I've seen these for I mean, if I remember correctly, around $100 on eBay. Um, this was produced in 2008. I found this at an antique shop, and I, I mean, I paid 20 bucks for it or whatever, which I thought felt was a good deal. But so I think I think without a doubt, these Remington, this Remington 2008 one arm veteran knife, for sure, I believe, is made by Berenstein. So I'll move this one to the side. Now I wanted to do a few comparisons with some of my, well, I feel nicer Barlow's. I have here, here is a, like 1965, I think it was 65 to 70 something is the tang stamp. It's one of the older ones before they did yearly carbon steel blade. You can see that I blued this blade. To keep it from rusting. I know I've said in a previous video, but these case knives, this carbon steel that they use really takes that bluing well. I mean, and it, that mirror polish that they come with seems to do really well at repelling rust. I mean, this has got almost no corrosion. I keep pulling it out of frame. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, just a little comparison. You hear that? I mean, that's some snap, right? And here's, here's one from their, from last year, 2019, their vault pattern. Let's say, I mean, same thing. Not as snappy, but that's got some nice snap too. But there it is sitting next to the case knives. Something else, and I don't know if all the Baron Sun Barlows do this, but this downward cant to the blade... I think is odd. I mean, I have 
most of my favorite Barlow's sitting out here right now. Right here is a uh, an old Imperial. We got my Lion Steel. There's a modern. Let's say even the Rough Rider. I mean that Rough Rider Classic Carbon. It seems to have the smallest blade of them all, and I don't know why Rough Rider chose to go with such a small blade. But it also, I believe, has the thickest handle of the group. I guess that Baron Sun's not too far off. And then one more, we might as well pull out my pride and joy here. This is a Taylor's Eyewitness in Oxhorn. Here, let's see if I can get that cleaned off. The, some schmutz on the blade there. Love this knife. I find myself having a hard time using this bad boy. Oh, look at that. You can see the tripod. That is a mirror finish right there, isn't it? Oh, look. Oh, look. There's my eyes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit of a dork. Apologize. <laughs> so, yeah, here's there's some of my favorite Barlow's. And just to go through them, I mean, here's... This knife is, what, 50 years old? And it's a cam tang. But still, you can hear that bad boy shut. Pen and clip. This is a single blade, but you can hear the half stop. Let's go Rough Rider. The whole nine yards. This one is Gator Snap. In fact, this old, I believe it's like 65 is what I've dated it to, or close to, anyway, if I recall. It's so tight that I can barely get the pin blade open. I mean, it is, in my opinion, if not a 10, it is right there. I mean, you can see that just bent my thumbnail in half <laughs> and it's loud i mean that's some gator snap going on let's say lion steel pretty nice walk and talk taylor's eyewitness serious springs on these they are not too tight to open but in my opinion they're an eight i mean they're close they're not going to break your nail but they are gonna you're gonna work at opening them i don't know if i've said it on video before but this is by far my favorite knife in my whole collection shout out to lee white just an amazing craftsman makes these knives by hand sheffield england in a 150 year old building i mean amazing it's amazing history there. I think, in fact, I'm going to order... Taylor's Eyewitness has a budget line that they call their Hardwood Series. I mean, they have a, a more budget line that they call the Endurance Series that has like a composite handle. And I might try one of those too as they're like 18 pounds. Um, I don't know exactly what that comes out to in American dollars. Probably 25 bucks or something. But their hardwood series is about 23 pound or whatever. And then when I ordered this, the shipping was like 6 to $8. I mean, it really, they did not charge me very much to get this. And this only took a week to get here from England. So back to the knife at hand. I mean, this is what we're talking about, right? This Baron Sun. Listen to this. Oh, wait a minute. You can't hear anything, can you? I mean, that is one of the weakest back springs I have on any of the slip joints in my collection. And this pin blade, I don't know if you can see that, but look how thick that is all the way out to the tip. I mean, it's got an odd grind. It didn't come sharp at all. I mean, I put an edge on, on the clip blade already, and it is sharp now, but... Their finishing is definitely lackluster. I mean, either way, it's a Barlow. It's going in the collection. I may even get their... They have a Rosewood ones that I might get. I obviously already have the One Arm Razor. Veterans Barlow with the Bullet Shield. Remington branded 
almost for surely made by Baron Son. So I may as well get some of the other ones. Um, oh, something else. Just just to quick, real, just real quick. <laughs> so this is the box that that Baron Son came in, right? And it was, I think, thirty nine ninety nine. So forty bucks, maybe twenty nine ninety nine. Maybe it was thirty dollars. I'm getting old. My memory's bad. Sorry, guys. So this isn't in the same category. And it's not even a Barlow, but this is the new Rough Rider Workman series, Half Hawk. And, I mean, you can hear that snap. Look at that long, amazing pin blade. I mean, that is a usable blade if I've ever seen one. These knives, the only thing I really don't like about this is that pocket clip. I mean... My slip joints right in the bottom of my pocket, or maybe in a belt sheath, but I almost never clip. I mean, I'll I'll try using this on the pocket. I think this is going to be a really usable work knife. Um, nice finishing. This has got no gaps. Got G10 liners, but I'm going to do a review on this knife eventually. The point I was making was. $30, you get this cheap little plastic box with the Baron Sun. $12, and this Workman Series Rough Rider comes in this presentation box, looking like that when you open it. And I'm not saying that presentation boxes are important. I mean, I just had to burn a whole garbage bag full of these. I've had so many of them. But... I mean, if Rough Rider can do it, come on, Baron Son, you can step up a little bit. And honestly, you're finishing. I mean, it's not bad. I don't see any gappage. Stainless steel liners. But $12 Rough Rider. Granted, this is 440A. That's going to be $10.95. Better steel, in my opinion. Um, but that back spring, I mean, that's as bad as the upswept bow trapper, in my opinion. But I don't want to get too negative. I'm going to say, here's another one for my collection. I'll use it. We'll see what it does. Before I finish this out, let's look at that beauty one more time. Ba bam, son. Sorry, Joe. Hope you don't don't have that trademarked. Hey, you guys have a good day. This is uh, Cameron from Oregon, and I'm out.